Jen Ayala, and thanks for watching another episode of our Investing in Community, where we bring you local businesses, events, and things happening around Nevada County. We're here today at the Interfaith Food Ministry again, and this morning's a little bit different. We're experiencing our power outage, and we're going to talk to them about how they are dealing with this power outage, how they're helping our community, and how you can help them help everyone else. So. We're going to go inside and talk to some of the workers, some new faces, some familiar ones, and um, see what they have to say. Okay, so here we are inside the Interfaith Food Ministries. The power's out. Yes, it's you can cold. See it's cold and dark. That's but right. They've got lights. We they've got, got generators. Right. Uh, we went and checked that out. They've got two generators that have been, you know, are just being borrowed right now by a couple of friends. So, you know, that's one of the donations that we need. We've got a lot to talk about. We're going to talk about a new heavy hitters program yes. for the holidays. We're going to talk about sponsoring the family. Yeah. We're going to interview uh, Phil Alonzo, the director, right here. So, are you ready to go? I am. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go find Phil. Okay, we're with Phil Alonzo, executive director here. Phil, tell us about how you're running. Yeah, great. Thank you guys so much for doing this. We are persevering through the power outages with our amazing volunteers, with our um, ama here to still serve the clients in need, and we are using generators for some lights, headlamps, and lanterns. We're just being real careful with with all of our operations, and we're still open Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Excellent. And you've got this program, Sponsor a Family. Tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. It's Sponsor a Family for the Holidays, and what that does is $20 essentially sponsors both the holiday meal for a family, Thanksgiving or Christmas, and a regular food distribution for that family. And so uh, for through the end of the year, our big push, uh, around 40% of what we raise throughout the whole year comes mm -hmm. in November and December. Mm -hmm. So that is our huge push, as well as our budget being spent is all spent for those uh, holiday meals. And uh, so we really need the donors' help in that. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Again, heavy hitters, tell us about it. There we are. Okay, so uh, this year again, uh, we're going to write a thousand dollar check. I'm going to write a thousand dollar check, and I'm looking for uh, the heavy hitters out in the community, businesses or individuals, to match my thousand dollars. Last yes. year we raised, uh, what did we raise? Forty-seven thousand. It was incredible last right, year. Right. Yep. So obviously these guys are hard at work. No power. They're working hard. It's cold in here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be distribution out here today. They don't stop for anything. So uh, it's been a great, great opportunity. A great institution, uh, Interfaith Food Ministries. We'll have contact information at the end of this video where you can send your $1,000 check. I mean, this is really important. We're looking for you to match my check. I'm going to write it out of my own funds mm -hmm. and uh, go from there. So we did a good job last year. We'll hope we, we did a, a good great job, job last year. year. All right, so good. open your hearts, open your pockets, and help these people who are helping everybody else in the community. We need to really pull together during these blackouts. Right. You know, California is being hit hard, and so let's all come together in Nevada County support this place support each other right and just be and because the power's out um, we're seeing a lot more people come in here they can't mm -hmm. cook they need food so it's really rough so a uh, thousand dollar check I'm looking for you to match my thousand dollars but if you can't do that any sort of donation is good uh, again I'll have contact information you can donate at the website you can drop it on by when they're open or you can give them a call all right Jen I want to thank you for for coming this morning I know they're not feeling too well but you know what we got to just keep helping out however we can all right that does it for another edition of Investing in Community. We cover the amazing organizations, businesses, and nonprofits that happen around the county. Bring them to you through social media. Um, if you'd like to send Jen and I an email, you can do so at news at moneymanagementradio.com. My name is Mark Cunaberti. I'm John Ayala. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. All right. Oh, take my hand out of this pocket. Right. All right. <laughs>